Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 16. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for the Tarmac Rally. This is going to be uh, Subarus versus Mitsubishis. Uh, starting off with Sedona Raceway Park. Moving on to Sakuba, Suzuka and then Maple Valley Raceway. Let's go. All right, here we go. Sedona. Sedona Raceway with the STI. Honestly, I I am saving up big time for a um, Steam Deck just because I love the idea of the Steam Deck. I love it so much. Because in all honesty, right, out of everything that you see nowadays, every single con like handheld portable the last time we had a handheld portable console was the ps vita obviously people have been trying to get portable gaming systems and they've not been great until sort of now oh god um but yeah like the ps vita was pretty much the last thing and the vita only really played ps3 games so anything that's been made on like PS4 generation, uh, Xbox One generation, so like your Call of Duties, uh, your Forzas, Gran Turismo's, even though Gran Turismo can't be played on a PC, I'll still include it. Those kind of games, Horizon, Zero Dawn, um, Days Gone, fucking hell, those kind of things. Um, yeah. Those never got a handheld console offered to them. So, I've just realised I haven't got my timer on. Bollocks. Ah, crap. There was already a bit of extra time anyways in that timer because of last stream, but oh well. amazing to be honest though it's sort of more about the culture of those countries so consoles let me go a bit off topic I love Sony Xperia play is that where Sony made the yeah is that the handheld phone that they did they did a phone that had like a PS1 and a PSP emulator built into it right that you could play I, I don't know if that is the thing that you're on about. Ah, yeah, it is. So, yeah. That was a pretty awesome thing. Uh, I got a Subaru catching up. But, yeah. I, the Steam Deck is just killer. Like, to be able to have some PSP games on it, which I'd have, like, Ridge Racer... Gran Turismo, and again, those could probably run fairly reasonably well on, like, four times render resolution. Game Gear. What do you mean, Game Gear? Did I miss something, Kodo? I think I might have. Okay, what is up? Welcome. How are you today? Yeah, I mean... The problem with modern day phones is the fact that they all rely on their controls as a touch screen. Now, I'm not saying bring back the slide in screen, that's fucking stupid. But some form of option that makes mobile gaming so that you can use a controller more easily rather than just, you know, connecting a PlayStation controller via Bluetooth or something like that. 
Like, the only way you can do it is by buying one of those special cases that has a controller in it. But then, you then have to remove your thing and all that. They've got to figure out a way to make that more appealing. Because otherwise... I know mobile gaming is taken off, but it's not taken off in countries like... Your majority European countries, um, American countries. It's not taken off as much. And it never will take off. Alright, here we go. It is time for another race. I still don't understand why Forza Motorsport 3 and 4 were like... Because um, I'm not sure about Motorsport 1 if it had soundtrack in it. I cannot remember because I have never played the game without audio turned off. But I know Motorsport 2, 3 and 4 both have really solid soundtracks in them. Some of the best soundtracks I've seen in a video game, to be honest. Um, but yeah. Like, they had solid soundtracks. And then you get... Um, what's it called? Most of all, 5, 6, and 7. None. No soundtrack whatsoever. No music in it at all. Flip phone with Java games, that was the golden age. Do you know what? Java games were the shit. Flash, pe Flash player was it, though. I just realised we're not on the Euro hatch shootout. We're on this one, Tarmac Rally. Too bad. No. Horizon 4 and 5 soundtrack is horrendous. Like, it's, it seems like all the audio development, once they moved on to the Horizon games, they just didn't bother with motorsport. I don't know whether it was part of that atmosphere. The fact that the festival atmosphere seemed to suit Horizon, so they took it away. Yeah, they just have, like, top some fairly popular songs, but they're not great. Um, honestly, there's, the song choice in Horizon 4 and 5 were abysmal. I'll admit, Hospital on Horizon 4 was okay. But, I mean, drum and bass is drum and bass. It's very difficult to go against the core formula. I disagree. I think Horizon 3 had the best soundtrack. Horizon 2 is the better game overall. But Horizon 3 had the best soundtrack of any Horizon game. Base Arena was good. Um, XS was good. I think XS is that rap one uh hospital was good the only one that wasn't good was a classic one but that's fairly self-explanatory yeah i pretty much did the same in horizon 5 as well there's no music in my game um but yeah when it comes to motorsports uh horizon 3 has the best soundtrack horizon 1 and 2 it's hard to pick a second place. Personally, I pick Horizon 1 in second. And three, uh, 2 in third. Um, but the only reason I put Horizon 1 in second is because that sort of I played a lot more of. And I think some of the songs are slightly better on there. But again, they are three very, very good soundtracks. Both... Horizon 1, 2, and 3 have stunning soundtracks. And if, if I could play the games with the soundtrack, I would. But I can't. I have to use music on Twitch. And then have to have it muted for YouTube. 
but the music's probably so he, here's the thing so i've gotten into the habit of doing an introduction video solely for the purpose that i can record the start of the games and when the music is forcefully on only that video will get copyrighted and it, I don't have to worry too much about, like, a large portion of my content being copyrighted. Not bad. So we got a 20% discount on front anti-roll bars and rear anti-roll bars by Tanabi. Nice. Ooh, I put on my shoes and I'm ready for the weekend. I love that song so much. Put on my shoes and I'm ready for the weekend. Come on, let's get around this corner. I'm not even joking though. It's taken absolutely forever to upload these videos because now that I've got them at a higher bit rate, which hopefully is actually making the content look much higher quality. Uh, even though they take up the same storage space on YouTube servers, they are slightly higher quality and mean that it is better to look at. But yeah, a video's taken me about 35 to 40 minutes to upload at the moment. So, the other day I had to upload like 5 or 6. Uh, and it literally took about 4 hours to do them. 4 and a bit hours. Which is horrendous. Ready for the weekend. Put on my shoes and I'm ready for the weekend. Yeah. I put on my shoes and I'm ready for the weekend, 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 weekend. What a tune. Not bad. There's not a lot of uh, airflow going on in here. It is very warm in this room. I blame it on the alcohol. <laughs> For the weekend. I remember when this song first came on the radio. Absolutely vibed to it. Oh, this is a fucking tune, man. Turn out the lights. <clears throat> I'm so surprised that they didn't release this song alongside with their Time album. Like, this would have been perfect on that album. But, you know. Modern day artists are weird and they don't do things rationally. They don't do things that make sense. And I have no clue why. One day artists are odd. Not bad. Seven grand. I will take it. We'll go up to level three. Got a 10% discount on intercooler upgrades by Greddy. Woohoo! Turn out the lights. Turn out the lights. Yeah. Turn out the lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Go, 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 go! We are 75 followers away from 1k now, which is awesome. 1,000! I can hear birds outside my window. Tweet, tweet, motherfuckers! Uh, I'm not too sure. I haven't got anything planned out. I did say if we got a thousand by the end of the last year, I would have dyed my hair. We still haven't got it, so... You know. <laughs> That's out of the water. That's not happening. I am not dying this, plus it's go it's all going to. Um I'm gonna be shaving it off. Probably start of September actually, so not long before I just get rid of it. Hey, hey, hey! pink moustache. I mean, that's what happens when you shave it off. You end up with a... <laughs> Actually, no, that's red. <laughs> Cut yourself just... Oh, no, I'm bleeding. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Kill the fire starter. Twisted fire starter. Woohoo! Yeah, we didn't actually get to do our driving test today because it was cancelled. Because the DVSA like people to spend more money. <laughs> Corrupt bastards. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully, by the time we finish Forza Motorsport 3, I will have passed my test. test drives every week though. What do you mean? Do you mean the lessons? Because you have a lesson every week, but the actual test you do at the end. Like 12 people in one season. Strange. Fair enough. Twisted fire starter. Let's go for it. Bop. So much damage, it's unreal. 7,200. Not too bad. We are very close to getting... I think it's a baguette for level 25. I hope it is. We got 11 grand. Not bad. Lovely. All right, so we are here for the Skyline Owners Meeting. We're going to be taking part in Sunset Peninsula, Road Atlanta, Sebring, and then Camino Valle de Montserrat. 
Let's get going. Not bad. Holy crap, that engine noise is nice. I've been infected with restless whispers and cheats that manifested new words and lies that you seek. Okay, this is nice. Driving a skyline is a beautiful car. Am I in skyline heaven? You are indeed. This is heaven for any skyline fan. This is a beautiful sounding engine, I'll be honest. I know for a fact this is louder than any of the other engines, so uh, my voice is going to be a little more difficult to hear. But I don't care, because this engine is amazing. Did with restless whispers and cheats that manifest in new words and lies that you speak. Fairly excited for Nissan to make a new GTR, like a V6 hybrid GTR. That'd be awesome. Because obviously we got the new Nissan Z car, uh, and I know a lot of people aren't a great fan of the new Nissan 400Z, but I think. The 400Z is actually one of the best Nissans that Nissan has made for a while. With a 6-speed manual or a 9-speed auto, that's not too bad. I still find, um, what is it, Koenigsegg's um, thing. Yeah, the new one's pretty good. I would like for Nissan to make a new GTR, though. That is good. Optional manual. I still think Koenigsegg's uh, CC850. I think that's what it's called. I think that is the best example of how a manual auto should be. And in all honesty... I think that a lot of cars should actually use that system. Because obviously, as sim races, racing goes, we've always been able to swap between, like, flappy paddles. And especially in games like Forza, you can always swap between whether you're using a shifter or your flappy paddles. And it's a really cool experience to be able to swap whenever you feel. Like, you know, whenever. I think that is a great feature. Because that's basically what Koenigsegg is doing. They've obviously got an automatic gearbox that simulates the feel of the manual gearbox as well. So you can have both experiences. I really hope that Koenigsegg can get it to work. Because if they can get it to work, a lot of cars lower down and start trickling through to supercars sports cars and maybe even our general road cars will end up with manual gearboxes with an automatic on the side there's a bloody brilliant idea cruising along the highway you don't need to worry about shifting going through city driving shifting can be a bit of a pain in the backside but when you're actually wanting to experience a car get on with that clutch in the gearbox you know Da, da, da. Eight grand for that race. Let's go. Got up to car level one and a half. 
Uh, you now have a 20% discount on chassis reinforcement and roll cage upgrades by OMP Japan. Woohoo! Alright, here we go. Again, I really think it's it's going to be a re revolutionary piece of tech that that Koenigsegg has. I would love in the future when in 10 years time to be able to check a box when buying a brand new, it's probably like a million pound car, let's be honest. That's how much inflation is going up at the moment. But, uh, to be able to buy a brand new car and be able to check a box that says manual and automatic gearbox. And what's not to love about that? That seems like such a great idea. I hope I uh, could exactly pull it off. too bad better luck next time just like his dad just like his dad same mistakes it's like a computer enabled slash disabled auto clutch so from what um Von Koenigsegg said in the uh, actual like premiere it's basically a simulated clutch pedal that has like a resistance to it um, as well as the gearbox it has the actual like uh, shift gate isn't actually linked up to um, the actual gearbox instead it's sort of like a signal to tell the gearbox to switch into a certain gear, which you can assign um, out of... So it's a nine-speed auto, but out of those nine speeds, you can assign six of those gears to go into that gearbox. So you can have gears one to six if you want to, uh, or you can have gears one, two, and then jump to four, five, six, seven, for example. You can, you can mix and match. Uh, again, this is from what my understanding is of the gearbox. Has a standard clutch, same as normal in an automatic, but what it can do is in auto mode just behaves like a normal automatic, but in manual mode it will behave like a manual clutch pedal. So if you lift the clutch 50% off, it's 50% engaged. I I know that's not exactly how clutches work, but like, you get what I mean. It actually copies exactly how um, the clutch feel is. So you just, and even to the point, you lift your foot off that clutch, you'll stall the engine while in uh, manual mode. Even though it's an automatic gearbox, the car will let you stall it so that you have that experience of driving the car in a manual gearbox. I genuinely think. Although maybe the stalling part, if it became a mainstream thing, might get replaced. That might be like a turning on off thing where you can turn off stalling. I don't know, maybe. But again, I think it'd be awesome. We're also level 25. That's cool. Lamborghini would like 
to recognize your excellent performance, they've sent you a 2008 Lamborghini Reventor, which probably means level 30 is actually the Bugatti, and I've gotten mixed up. Oh, wow. The Reventor's awesome. You have a 20% discount on fuel system upgrades by Blitz. Woohoo! Let's have a look at this Lamborghini. Uh, I believe they came up with a valveless engine. I'm not sure. Koenigsegg is crazy. He, he, he makes some advances that no one else can think of. That is stunning. I don't like the steering wheel of the Reventon. I will admit. I think it looks a bit odd. All right, here we go. Nissan. Yeah, so um, when it comes to like... Uh, I've just realized we're starting in third place. I've got no clue how this game works out. The start position. But starting in third seems a little bit of an easy way out. Um, but yeah, Koenigsegg makes some crazy advancements. Like, when you think about it, most car manufacturers are pushing the amount of performance out of an engine. So... A lot of manufacturers are getting 600 horsepower out of a V6 quite easily. Before, you look at cars like this. These were pushing 350 horsepower in a V6. So they're squeezing a lot more power out of these engines. But for Koenigsegg to get an inline three-cylinder engine to produce nearly 700 horsepower is fucking mind-blowing. They genuinely made an engine. I, I'm not sure what the car was called. But it was basically like a four-seater passenger car. So you could have four people in it. Um, had electric motors, ended up producing about 1,100 horsepower, 1,200. Top speed was about, I believe, 240 miles an hour. But that just baffles me that an engine of that capacity could produce that much power. But the one thing I would be concerned about that is is the only reason that that car... Uh, no, it's not the Koenigsegg one. It was a family car. Can't remember the name. I'll find it in a second. I think it started with a C. Either a C or a G. Magic people, voodoo people. What's the next rally for the WRC? It's, um... Acropolis next. I'm very much excited for that rally. Time to go to Greece. Yeah, time to go to Greece. Yeah, long doors. It had some really long doors because they still had it with the classic Koenigsegg opening doors, I think. So. Magic people, Buddha people. I don't think it's Speedster. Speedster doesn't ring a bell. Hang on, I'm trying to do this, uh, Jamira, that's it. It's a Koenigsegg Jamira, and was unveiled on the 3rd of March, just before, um, well, during when the, uh, COVID lockdown started to, uh, happen. Because they cancelled that Geneva Motor Show. Um, due to the fact that COVID had, was beginning. But yeah, they revealed that. I, I haven't heard about anything from it. Apparently it's a camless piston engine. So yeah, I think that's what you mean by the uh, valve. Because it doesn't have valves and shit. And obviously because it is a three-cylinder... Yeah. I didn't even know Koenigsegg made a car called the Speedster. 
to be honest, so. I would love for the CC850 to be added to like Forza Horizon or uh, ah, do you know what? Test Drive Solar Crown would be the perfect place for them to actually add in some Koenig's eggs, especially that CC850. That'd be stunning if they could add that car into it. Not bad. Good results so far. 8,775 credits. All right, here we go. Camino Vio de Montserrat. Get back a little more. Oi, ya baboon. Baba boy. Watch it. You pleb. Mm -mm. I think this is actually one of the fastest cars I've driven, even though I have driven ones in higher categories. In terms of performance, this actually is much quicker. This feels it anyways. So the funny thing is, right, so the difference between the UK and the US, when it comes to like driving lessons and stuff like that, uh, GCR spec 2, I think it's spec 2, yeah. Uh, yeah, in the UK, between the UK and the US, when it comes to like driving tests and stuff like that, I haven't heard a single American actually complain about the waiting time or anything like that for them to do tests. And it's probably more than likely because of the fact that the US just did it. Got on with it. In the UK, I kid you not, when I went for my test, there were three people doing tests there. Three people. No wonder that we're at a point No wonder we're at a point in um, in the UK where Getting a driving test takes us literally half a year. Because they just don't have enough people and they refuse to get people. They get paid so much money per test. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is all-wheel drive, but still, this is a lot more powerful than a lot of cars that I've driven so far in this game. Even the Subaru, this is destroying that Subaru that we would have been driving earlier. Same level, pretty much. Back, back, back. The worst part is, if I fail this... The, the problem is, I wouldn't have a problem with the waiting time if I had just failed my test today. Because that would have been my fault. But this is like, they've delayed my test by pretty much two months. Because their instruct the instructor that was supposed to be on today didn't couldn't do it. For whatever reason couldn't do it, but again, I don't know. Yo Johnny, what's up? Welcome. How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Cheese. But yeah, once um 
just hope I get it done soon because I don't want to have to spend more money. Like, it, it, it sucks that they won't even pay for my extra lessons that I now need to have because of this delay. You know. We got 11 grand. Woohoo! Result. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Oh.